Okay, hello everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And this is uh, this will be the conclusion of our Black Widow. But uh, this is still it has nothing to do with Black Widow. But this is one of my favorite one of my favorite epic rap battles of history um, uh, performances. So if I'm mouthing the words on one part, you have to understand. I really love epic rap battles of history. Is Steven Spielberg versus Albert Hitchcock. I'll be a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's jump into it. Steven Spielberg. Yes. Forsyth. Alfred Hitchcock! Yes. Picture a child sitting next to a projector, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now picture a $3 billion dream machine who can block us all over your crop just, just to see. see. Try to do with me, Alfred, you must be psycho. I'll bring back Jaws and take a bite of your life, bo. I'm always so on top of my game, I get the vertigo. My jet's in the terminal, waiting for me to murder you. I'm gonna say Steven Spielberg has did a lot of good movies. Uh, uh, if you did not, uh, he E.T., The Color Purple, uh, uh, Jaws, he just mentioned it, uh, Jurassic Park, like, uh, Schindler's List. He did a lot of good movies. I, I, it's, it's amazing. I rock the Academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that flat Michael Bay. Now you're filling up those jowls with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade, see me amble to my next big play. I produce cartoons and make games for all ages. You produce Close encounter of the third kind. But there won't be a pretty ending this time. Half your billion should go to John Williams. Oh, hell no! Oh, ah! Now brace yourself as I reveal my brilliance. I'm the master. All suspense, so intense. No defense against Hitchcock once he presents. I'm gonna say he. He made he made psycho and you don't understand how many people still have like fears of showers and they don't even know where that came from. That trope came from him, dog. You smart. My skill is enormous, orchestrating William performance room more horrible than Megan Fox is acting and transforming. Come on. Fish puppets and muppets to stir the fears up. Ice cream screams out of chocolate syrup. I'm the best mamma jamma ever stood behind the camera. Damage panderers and haunt you like the last Indiana. Come give me a Tylenol. Stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie I know you're from. And I've seen more blood in the shower and a stub a toe and more. Tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fit. Wow. Really? Oh, now if they do that, that's fat shaming. <laughs> Look it up, it's a true fact. Wikipedia that. Now allow me to attack Stephen the Hack. Due to War of the Worlds of Failures, when I label you, it looked like some sellout bullshit Michael Bay would do. Ask anybody, what's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say, what's his name from Jurassic Park? It's so, it's so, it's so, it's so true though. It's so true. But, but to be honest and serious, they, they cut the budget for Sam Jackson Park and Jurassic Park because he was supposed to have an epic death, but they cut it. And that's, that's, that's the sad part. Works that I write ain't the clean. When I grip mics, I'm the mean. Yeah. Tarantino is a genius. A sad motherfucker from the wallet to the pain. I love a I love a good Quentin Tarantino movie. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Unapologetically a good director. That's what I love about it. And then every time when every time when somebody has like, uh, they all have like him. They had him on the thing where they were like, well, how? What is your view of all of your movies having the N word in it? And he's like, what the. F Nigga, get out of my face. He didn't say that, but that's 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 the kind of thing he was that's the kind of attitude he had in his thing. It's like, look, if if that is the only thing that you get from a Quentin Tarantino is like they say the N-word in the movie, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Yes. Powerful word, but there's no reason to use it unless you're talking about the Kubrick. Then there's Kubrick was an asshole for a director. Oh my god, that woman who did The Shining literally, she's like, she hated him. I like, she like, literally, she hated him. Like, they were beefing, and even 
because they will have they will have her they will have her do certain scenes and she will actually be getting hurt and he's like I don't care keep doing it and I'm like damn really nothing to it everything I do is visionary every single frame of painting made exactly how I want to make it do another take and get it right 127 times I'll make you learn to love me on the bar drop up her violent right like clockwork make you all hurt beats Spielberg the color purple AI is the worst piece of potential since the ninja turtles that's enough I've heard enough crap from all of you when I come down there and show you what a real star can do I swore blow with the telephoto no Bruckheimer I work solo if there's one thing I've learned I, 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 I love Michael Bay. None of his movies make a tap of sense. It is like when I watch a Michael Bay movie, literally I turn my brain completely off, leave it at home. I already know it's going to be explosions, pretty colors, American flags, and like 18, 18 different brands that's going to be mentioned in a Michael Bay movie. Look, I know that sounds like, oh, but you ask that you, when you watch anime, you look for a plot and everything. But when I watch a Michael Bay movie, I already know, I already know. It's literally, literally, literally American flag is going to be in there. It's going to have an orange cast of a background, just like it does right now. It's going to have an orange cast of a background. Did I mention an American flag? It's going to have a whole bunch of brands in it because everybody wants to be in that movie. Did I also mention another American flag? It's going to have the Americans being, being the best that it ever has been. It's going to have, it's going to have soldiers in it, but they're going to be there. They're going to have a backstory and everything else. I, I'm being dead serious. Like I love a Michael Bay movie. Like it's stupid, but I love it. It's about motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all. Motherfucking money. Even make Mark Wahlberg make some motherfucking money. Shot. Got a few drops of that got milk money. Rose to the rock. Now I got that socks made of silk money. I ain't got that guilt money. I don't give a fuck. Take my chance to the bank and I sign them with my love. Michael Bay. <laughs> Who what you decide? I'd still say Michael Bay. I still say Michael Bay. Look, bruh. Look, bruh. You you already know what you're coming with a Michael Bay movie. Literally, Michael Bay was making these big budget movies and they were releasing like Saw back in the day. They were. They were releasing like Saw. They had like Transformers 1, 2, 3, 4. I think they went all the way up to five then then he he came back did uh did bad boys uh three i believe he he helped produce on the ninja turtles movie and everything else like that's just like i mean like everybody's can everybody can down michael bay but i like i look at it like this michael bay is like nickelback everybody say everybody say that they don't like nickelback but they can they can sing at least four songs verbatim. Everybody said they don't like Michael Bay, but they do it. They know his scripts. So I mean, like, just give it up. Like Michael Bay, Michael Bay earned his right, like everybody else did. I do you do you already know what you're getting from a Michael Bay movie, okay? Let me just be honest and serious. It's like it's like a IG thought, okay? You already know what you're getting from it. Like like. It's like a girl on OnlyFans. You already know what you're getting from it, okay? So like, 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 like don't bullshit a bullshitter on that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already know what you're getting. Sit back and enjoy the show. And if you don't like it, just turn it the fuck off. That's what I do when I when I watch some people's content. I'm like, I don't like this shit. I just turn the fuck off. So again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And that concludes this cosplay and everything else. I hope y'all like my cosplay series because I, I did a lot in this cosplay. So I'll talk to y'all later. And like my grandmother always says, so long. <laughs>